Hey, it's Kaylee. And in this lesson, we're going to talk about the different units used in the United States for measuring the volume of liquids. When you hear the word gallon, you might think of a gallon of milk, those big plastic jugs of milk at the grocery store. And that is correct. Those jugs each hold one gallon of milk. A gallon is the largest unit used to measure the volume of liquids. Similarly to a gallon of milk, we also see quarts of milk in the grocery store. These are the tall cardboard containers. Each container holds exactly one quart of milk. A quart is the second largest unit used for measuring volume of liquids. A pint might be harder to visualize. Usually when you order a soda or a lemonade at a restaurant, it comes in a pint-sized glass. You can also buy pints of ice cream at the grocery store. A pint is the second smallest unit for measuring the volume of liquids. When someone says they need a cup of coffee, they really mean it. Most mugs are exactly one cup. A cup is the smallest unit of measurement for the volume of liquids. Now how do these units all compare to each other? Here we have them ordered from largest volume to the smallest volume. Now let's look at how these units compare to each other numerically or with values. Let's compare cups and pints. There are two cups in one pint. So we can say two cups is equal to one pint. Now let's compare pints to quarts. There are two pints in one quart. So we can say two pints is equal to one quart. Now let's compare quarts to gallons. There are four quarts in one gallon. So we can say four quarts is equal to one gallon. I use a little trick to remember this one. Quart sounds like quarter, and a quarter is one-fourth, so there are four quarts in one gallon. Using the chart, how many pints fit in six cups? Well, if I know that two cups is equal to one pint, then for these two cups here, this will be equal to one pint, and these two here is equal to another one pint and these two here are equal to another one pint. Excuse my bad drawings of pints. So if we add all of these pints up here, we have three. So six cups equals three pints. How many gallons are in eight quarts? So remember these are quarts down here and there's four is equal to one gallon. So over here, if I count one, two, three, four, here's four quarts. Those are equal to one big gallon of milk. And then I have another four down here. So that is equal to another gallon. So if I have eight quarts, that is equal to two gallons. Now this one says, how many quarts are in four pints? So this is the quart here, one is equal to two pints. So here I have these two pints is going to be equal to one quart, and these two pints is going to be equal to one quart. So that would give me a total of two quarts is equal to four pints. So now this one says, how many cups are in six pints. So I need to find my conversion factor with cups and pints and it says there's two cups in every one pint. So that means this one pint here is equal to two cups. So that means each of these is equal to two cups, two cups, two cups, all the way down the line. And so I could count the cups 
or I can do a quick multiplication problem. I know that there's two for each of these. So two cups times how many pints again? That was six. So that would give me two times six, 12 cups. So there's 12 cups and six pints. Now you know the four units for measuring volume of liquids. Practice what you've learned by doing the online games and quizzes. Have fun and remember to always be clever. Hey, hey.